Hello everyone. Today we will be dealing with the purchasing process on SAP Business One. What we have here is the system configuration for in uh, it shows us how does the processing or purchasing process affects the system. Okay. If we have a purchasing process, we expect for an inbound logistics and the warehouse together with the production is directly affected with this particular uh, document or transaction and of course if we have purchases we expect to have uh, something to sell and we have an outgoing or outbound logistics through our uh, marketing and sales and service your master data is directly affecting all of these things from purchasing to service and also your financial controlling. In purchasing process, we have four major documents. First one is the purchase order where we put or we provide our orders and ask our suppliers or vendors to provide us our orders. and we receive those orders through another document, which is the uh, GRPO, and then we will uh, make an invoice, which is the accounts payable invoice for our items received, and then we pay through the outgoing payment. Now we'll have the demo through our SAP Business One. Okay, so this is again your SAP Business One. We will go to purchasing ap and the first document is the purchase order and we will try to uh, order something from our vendor v10000 which is acme associates okay just double click that one you can check your uh, vendor details through the golden arrow or link to the business master or business partner master data. Okay, let me close that one. And then here we have, of course, the number or the document number. This is uh, purchase order number 394. And we expect for a posting, which is today. And then the delivery, if they can deliver or the uh, actual vendor can deliver the items on the same date of the posting date then it's good but if not of course you talk with them if you expect them to deliver a specific date then you provide the date if not you ask them or uh, when they can deliver your items okay so we'll just put our delivery date for today okay and then we are trying to uh, order items. Take note how we are ordering items. It's not service. Okay. So we'll try to order uh, the item IBM Infoprint 1312. Okay. For the quantity of that item, we'll have, let's say, 10. Sorry. Copy to fill the part. Okay. Pwede nyo ring i-manually type yun. Okay. And then, never mind the BP catalog number. Okay. Huwag nyo lang siya pakialaman. Kasi magpapakita lang yung um, details ng item. Another item would be 1222 of IBM Infoprint. We will order 20. Okay. And we're done. Uh, for example, you are done ordering your items. Okay, you may put some remarks if you want. But if not, just click add. Okay, you will see a green uh, shaded text at the bottom, operation completed successfully. And you will see your purchase order by clicking the last data record. Okay, so this is your last purchase order now we will try to 
uh, proceed with the next document, which is the goods receipt P or we will receive the items. Say they are delivering the items right now. So you can copy this one, this document to the other document. Next document will be the GRPO. So we will use the copy to version on how to uh, transfer items or transfer information from one document to the next. We'll try to use copy to GRPO. Okay. So that's a GRPO. Take note that this particular document has a direct connection with the first document, the purchase order item, uh, purchase order number 394. In your GRPO, you will see that particular remarks that this particular GRPO is based on purchase order 394. Okay. So, say for example, dumating lahat yung items. Take note, this is still open, the status. And we will click add. Yes. Okay. So, again, last data record for this particular document. And you will see that your GRPO is still open. Because, of course, hindi pa ito nababayaran, kaya naka-open pa pati si uh, purchase order. Okay. So, what's the next? It will be on AP invoice. So, where is your AP invoice? Again, we will use copy to. But, what if I can go directly to uh, AP invoice? I would like to uh, use the AP invoice document by default. And not using your copy to version. Okay, I would like to use copy from. Okay, as you can see, it's not yet enabled. But we will try to provide the vendor. So we will see uh, the things possible for us to pay uh, ordered from uh, our vendor Acme Associates. So our basis will be from GRPO. So as you can see, there are a lot of items, okay, but uh, there are actually four purchase orders. Okay, so our uh, the three one three one two three the first three I should say they were ordered a long time ago, and our order is. 279 under GRPO 279. We'll check. 279. Okay. So you click this one. Okay. Finish. Okay. Yeah. So are, there, are they the same? We'll see. 279 for GRPO. Again, for the remarks, nadagdagan, it is based on purchase order 394 and also based on goods receipt PO 279. Same amount, 4686, okay? We will now click Add. Posting date missing, okay? Take note, if there's a red remarks, it means there's something lacking on your document. So posting date, we will post it today. Add, yes. Okay, so successful ang ating pag um, invoice. Baba natin to para makita natin yung mag last data record tayo. So, is it done? Take note. Uh, this one is still open. This one is also open. And your invoice, which is 261, is still open. So, anong gagawin? So, we will now minimize this too. Close na lang natin. Ayan. So, we will try to pay this invoice. Okay, so meron kang in order, meron kang dumating na items, meron kang invoice na mabayaran. So, paano? We will now go to banking, which is, of course, if you have AP invoice, accounts payable, that means you are to pay using a document which is outgoing payments. 
Loan payments. To whom? Acme Associates. Okay. What particular document? Take not your AP invoice to pay is 261. Here is your 261. You select it. And then you, what's the next one? Use the payment means. Okay. As you can see, there is a dollar sign there. Okay. For Acme Associates, we'll use the petty cash. How much is that? Konti lang yun, no? Take note. By default, searching is on account number. For you to use account name as your search option, double click account name. So, mapapansin nyo magkakaroon siya ng uh, filter uh, symbol. Then, you will uh, search petty cash. Well, there it is. Our petty cash account balance of negative. And let's just uh, say na positive yet. Okay. So balance due is 4606. Bakit kaya? Okay. Let's click add. Operation completed successfully. The last payment made is, of course, on 261. Meron tayong discount or Acme Associate. That's why 4606 lang to. Or can you see that one? Payment terms, I think. Kahayaan na muna natin yun. Okay, meron kasi siyang discount na uh, somewhat 80 plus. Okay, so if you're done with the outgoing payments, you can go back with the purchasing AP, your purchase order, then last data record, and you may right click on the open space and see relationship map. Okay. So this is already closed. Naka yellow yung ating purchase order kasi dito tayo nag relationship map. Okay? But if you try to open the transactions through another type of uh, document, the process, uh, say double click GRPO and then I close the, that one. And Right, uh, click on, uh, right click, and then click on the relationship map. As you can see, GRPO is enabled or in yellow, in your relationship map. Okay, so that's for the GRPO process without uh, returns or any uh, delays of the process. What if there is something that you need to return or something that you need to uh pay twice something like that it's a different story you'll see on the next video thank you